poker bankroll tip. Stop playing stakes that you can't afford to play. And one of the things I hear all the time is take a shot at that next, those next stakes. You've got a good bankroll, take a shot. No, I don't think that that's the right time to be doing that. Now that you've built up a good bankroll, you're starting to win, you're saving up some money. That's the time to get even better at what you're doing. Don't play another stake until you have the bankroll. I promise you, maybe you'll do good. Maybe you'll win a little bit, but it creates bad habits. You start playing games that you can't really keep sustained. Variance in poker is a bitch. It's hard to deal with this variance. When you have the bankroll and you're playing stakes that you can afford to play, the variance isn't so bad. You can afford the swings. If you have $100,000 in your bankroll, you're playing one, two still. If you lost $3,000 and you had a really, really bad session or two sessions, it sucks to lose $3,000, but you're fine. A lot of people will take $100,000 and then they go play $2,550 where people are buying in for $30,000. Maybe you can go win a lot of money, but I haven't done that. I mean, I've tried that a few times and I'd win sometimes, but when you lose, you just, you get wiped and it's not sustainable. So unless you're truly a super skilled pro or you're just significantly better than the average person, just stick to the stakes that you're winning at. Save up a lot of your bankroll money. Take some of that and invest in businesses where you're making more money on other things. I play pretty big stakes now for me. I play the biggest stakes I've ever played. I'll play up to 1025, maybe even higher sometimes. PLO or no limit. And those games get pretty big, but I make money for my business and from poker and I'm able to help offset some of those swings, right? Because I have other sources of income. Whenever I was just playing poker and there's no other sources of income, I had a really good bankroll. But if I go to these bigger stakes and I lost 50 grand, it would make me cry. That's because the money would be sacred. And it goes right back to my main point is don't play with sacred money. Don't play with money that you can't really afford to lose without getting very emotional about it. I got to really push this on you guys because I think that this is so common. I have players coming to me all the time and I know that they make way less money than I do and they're less skilled at poker than me and they're playing games way bigger than me. I'm like, dude, I can't afford those stakes. They're like, yeah, you can, bro. You play, you, you do this and that. And, and I say, no, if I ran bad and lost a hundred thousand dollars, that's like a little house. I could buy a little house with that. I'm not at the point in my life where I want to be losing that kind of money, right? I've had to, you have to humble yourself a lot because a lot of people, they want to go play the bigger stakes and they want to try to prove something and it'll wipe you clean. So stay humble and, and just stay within the stakes that are meant for you. If you have extra money, invest it, start part of your business. And then if you run bad, your business can help supplement your, your bankroll. And then once they're both kind of crushing it and your skills growing, now you bump up to the next stakes. I can't emphasize how important this is. You shouldn't go past one, two until you have like $75,000. You shouldn't really be playing the two, five or the one, three in Texas, at least in San Antonio. If people are buying in for five grand, four or $5,000 at these games, and you have a $15,000 bankroll, you very, very quickly can lose it all. I promise. It doesn't matter how good you are and maybe you'll run it up. But even if you run it up, you create these bad habits and then you'll play a bigger stakes and then you'll lose it all. And this is why just having the discipline to stay in the stakes and the humility is going to really protect you. I'm not wrong. And then, you know, you can challenge it. You can try it. I see it over and over again. I know a lot of my friends, the, some of the best players around and they win a tournament. So they go play these crazy stakes. They go broke. They win a lot of money in a cash game. They go play a bigger game. They go broke and they think they're getting unlucky. They think all these things, the swings of poker. It's like, no, f that I steadily win. I might have some swings, but I'm always on the uprise. My friends that are all poker pros, the real people that make real true money, they make their living from poker. It's just a consistent rise in their income. And uh, there are swings, but it's like this. It's not like this. And so you have to kind of get your shit together and stay humble and stay in those stakes.